Ladies and gentlemen, designers, if you're looking for a design app, there are tons out there. Today, we're going to have a look at Figma. We're also going to have a look at Adobe XD and see which one you should be using. So without further ado, let's climb straight in. Right, so let's jump straight in and have a look at Figma. Okay, so some of the very awesome things that uh, Figma offers is real-time collaboration. So Figma is a real-time collaboration platform. It offers you the opportunity to have multiple users that can work on one single design simultaneously, which makes it perfect for teams. Even if you're just two people working on a design, it's absolutely fantastic. You can both work on it at the same time. You can see these changes live. You can also leave comments and you can communicate directly within the app. I think that's awesome. It also has cross platform accessibility, which allows Figma to be a browser based um, application. It allows you to access access projects from any device with an internet connection. So the flexibility now allows you to work seamlessly across different operating systems with no need for additional installations and um, complications. Let's have a look also now at Adobe XD and uh, we're going to jump straight in and have a look at some of their key features here. So um, first of all, it has the integration with the Adobe Creative Cloud. Now, if you are using more than one Adobe product, this is fantastic. That means you can import designs from Adobe XD into other Adobe platforms as well as the other way around. So if you've done something in another platform, you can actually import it directly into XD. It also has a powerful prototyping tool. Of course, we mentioned this with Figma and um, it offers advanced prototyping features. It also includes um, voice triggers and auto animate capabilities, which will definitely speed up your workflow. It allows you to create highly interactive and dynamic prototypes that can really, really impress pretty much anybody. It also um, has the opportunity to design systems and libraries. So similar to Figma, um, when you're using XD, it supports design systems and also shared libraries. So you can create reusable assets. And this, of course, makes your workflow a hell of a lot easier. It also helps you to maintain consistency across all of your projects. You can also use their testing features. Um, XD includes a built-in user testing feature, which uh, allows you to gather feedback directly from users on your prototypes. This, of course, also can streamline your design process. It can also help you make more informed decisions rather than just hoping and guessing. You also do have offline access. So um, unlike Figma, Adobe XD does allow you to work offline, which is fantastic because if you have an internet break, right? This can be a significant advantage. And when you're not online, you can still have access to your files. You can still work and you won't be losing any time. So between these tools, which one is right for you? Well, if you would like to prioritize real-time collaboration and cross-platform access, Figma might be a better option. On the other hand though, if you're already using Adobe products, and uh, you need powerful prototyping features, Adobe XD probably is a better option then because you can integrate all of the platforms together and work on all your projects. Now, if this was a helpful guide, you can go ahead, show your support, drop us a like, leave a comment if you'd like. We'd, we'd love to hear from you. And uh, I guess we'll see you in another awesome video. Peace out.